Imagine a world without technology, without written language, without cities. This was our world 10,000 years ago. A world where humans lived in small nomadic groups hunting and gathering for survival. But as the millennia rolled on, something extraordinary happened. We began to settle down and build. In the fertile crescent of Mesopotamia, between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, we find the cradle of civilization. Here, the Sumerians developed the first form of writing, cuneiform, forever changing how humans could communicate and record their history. They constructed ziggurats, towering structures dedicated to their gods, and introduced the concept of a city-state. Meanwhile, along the banks of the Nile, the Egyptians were building a civilization to rival that of Mesopotamia. They developed a complex system of hieroglyphic writing and created magnificent works of art and architecture, including the Great Pyramids. Their understanding of mathematics and astronomy was far ahead of its time. Further east, in the fertile plains of the Indus Valley, another civilization was flourishing. Known for their urban planning and advanced sanitation systems, the people of the Indus Valley created cities like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa that were marvels of their time. Over in China, along the Yellow River, the ancient Chinese were developing a civilization of their own. They introduced the world to papermaking, gunpowder, and the compass, and their intricate system of ideographic writing still endures today. In all these societies, agriculture played a pivotal role. It fueled population growth, spurred technological innovation, and facilitated the rise of complex political structures. Each civilization contributed uniquely to the tapestry of human history be it through writing, art, or technology. From these humble beginnings, humanity embarked on a journey that would forever shape the course of history. Fast forward a few millennia, and we find ourselves in the classical era, a period defined by the rise of empires and the birth of philosophy. A remarkable chapter of our shared past, the classical era, is marked by the ascendancy and decline of two colossal empires, the Greeks and the Romans. The Greek Empire, a mosaic of city-states, each with its own distinct flavor, gave rise to a rich tapestry of cultural contributions. Theater, democracy, and the Olympic Games were born in the cradle of Greece, shaping societies for centuries to come. However, the real gem of the Greek Empire was the birth of philosophical thought. The likes of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle questioned the world around them providing the bedrock for Western philosophy and fundamentally changing the way we understand our existence. Then we have the Romans. The Roman Empire, spanning three continents at its peak, was a beacon of administrative prowess and architectural grandeur. From the Colosseum's imposing silhouette to the intricate network of roads connecting the empire, Roman innovations were nothing short of revolutionary. Meanwhile, on the other side of the globe, the classical era was also witnessing the rise of empires in India and China. In India, the Maurya and Gupta empires made significant strides in mathematics, astronomy, and literature. China, under the Qin and Han dynasties, experienced an era of consolidation, unifying under a centralized system and making great leaps in technology and philosophy. The classical era was a melting pot of cultural exchanges and intellectual exploration. It was a time when humanity took giant strides in understanding the world around them, laying the foundation for future civilizations, yet, like all great epochs, the classical era was not immune to the sands of time. Empires rose, flourished, and inevitably fell, leaving behind a legacy that continues to echo in our present. The classical era was a time of great change and progress, setting the stage for the next chapter of our story. As empires crumbled, a new era dawned, one of knights, castles, and faith, the Middle Ages. The Middle Ages, also known as the medieval period, was a fascinating time in history, spanning roughly from the 5th to the 15th centuries. This was a time when the old world order was reshaping and new systems were emerging. In Europe, feudalism became the dominant social structure. Lords, vassals, knights, and serfs formed a complex hierarchy, bound by obligations and loyalties. The lords provided protection and land, while the vassals pledged their service and loyalty. This system helped maintain stability during a period of frequent wars and invasions. As Europe grappled with its feudal structure, the Middle East and Africa experienced the rapid spread of a new religion, Islam. The teachings of Prophet Muhammad unified the Arabian tribes and soon extended beyond, reaching as far as Spain in the west and India in the east. 
This era also saw the rise of intellectual hubs like Baghdad, where scholars of various faiths gathered to translate and preserve the knowledge of the ancient world. Meanwhile in Asia, empires continued to thrive and expand. The Tang and Song dynasties in China, for instance, brought about significant advancements in technology, art, and literature, while in India the Gupta Empire was experiencing a golden age of intellectual and artistic endeavors. The Middle Ages were not just about feudal lords and religious conquests, they were also a time of profound challenges and changes. The Crusades, a series of religious wars, brought about significant shifts in power and trade routes. Then came the Black Death, an epidemic that wiped out nearly a third of Europe's population, leading to social and economic upheavals. But as with all epochs, the Middle Ages had to give way to the new. The seeds of change planted during this period began to sprout, leading to the dawn of a new era. The Middle Ages were a time of conflict and change, leading to the dawn of a new era. As the Middle Ages faded, a new era of enlightenment and discovery emerged. This period, known as the Renaissance, spanned the 14th to the 17th century. It was a time when humanity seemed to wake up from a long sleep, stretching and reaching for the heights of knowledge and creativity. The Renaissance, meaning rebirth in French, was a cultural movement that saw a renewed interest in the classical knowledge of Greece and Rome. It was a time of great intellectual ferment, with a focus on art, literature, science and exploration. One of the most iconic figures of the Renaissance was Leonardo da Vinci. Known as the Renaissance Man, Leonardo was an artist, scientist, engineer and inventor. His insatiable curiosity and inventive mind embody the spirit of the Renaissance. His works such as the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper remain some of the most recognized and revered pieces of art in the world. Following the Renaissance, the Enlightenment took root in the 18th century. This was a time of profound intellectual exploration, where reason was championed as the primary source of authority and legitimacy. The Enlightenment thinkers believed in individual rights, freedom and equality, concepts that would later form the foundation of modern democracy. Galileo, another giant of this era, challenged the established norms with his scientific discoveries. His advocacy for a heliocentric universe, despite the Church's opposition, exemplifies the daring spirit of the Enlightenment. Voltaire, a French philosopher, was a leading figure in the Enlightenment. His biting wit and fierce criticism of tyranny and religious dogma have made him a symbol of freedom of thought. His advocacy for civil liberties including freedom of religion and free trade continue to inspire and influence even today. The Renaissance and Enlightenment were transformative periods in human history. They brought about a shift in thought from a society dominated by religious dogma to one that valued reason, individual rights, and artistic expression. These eras challenged the status quo and sowed the seeds for the scientific and democratic revolutions that would follow. The Renaissance and Enlightenment brought about a shift in thought that would pave the way for the modern world. The world as we know it began to take shape in the modern era, a time of revolution, industry, and war. This era, beginning roughly in the mid-18th century, was marked by the Industrial Revolution. This significant shift saw manual labor replaced by machines, rural societies transformed into urban ones, and a surge of new inventions and ideas that forever changed the way we live. From the steam engine to the telephone, the innovations of this era were groundbreaking. Alexander Graham Bell's invention of the telephone in the late 19th century, for instance, revolutionized communication, shrinking the world and making it possible to connect with others across great distances. The modern era was also a time of political upheaval and change. The signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776 marked the birth of a new nation and the rise of democracy setting a precedent for other countries around the world. This led to an era of self-governance, where the people held the power to choose their leaders. Yet, this era was also marked by devastating global conflicts. The two world wars that defined the first half of the 20th century altered the political landscape of the world, taking millions of lives in the process. In the aftermath, nations were redefined, borders redrawn, and the world order reshaped. Then came the Atomic Age, marked by the dropping of the atomic bomb in 1945. This event not only ended the Second World War, but also ushered in a new era of technological advancement and power dynamics. It showcased the immense and terrifying power humanity had harnessed, setting the stage for the Cold War and the nuclear arms race that followed. The modern era has been a whirlwind of change, marked by advancements in technology, 
shifts in political power, and the constant push and pull between progress and destruction. It is in this era that the world as we know it was forged, shaped by the hands of those who dared to dream, innovate, and challenge the status quo. The modern era has been a time of rapid change and progress, leading us to where we are today. Scene script. History is not just about the past, it's also about the future. You see, history is a compelling storyteller, weaving tales of human endeavor and resilience, of triumphs and trials. But it is also a wise teacher, imparting lessons that are as relevant today as they were centuries ago. From the rise and fall of civilizations to the revolutions that shaped societies, history provides us with a wealth of knowledge, a treasure trove of insights that can guide us as we navigate the complexities of our current world and shape the contours of our future. Consider the global issues we face today. Climate change, for instance, is a pressing concern that demands our immediate attention. But it's not an isolated problem. It's a part of a larger narrative that spans centuries, a narrative of industrialization and relentless pursuit of progress. By understanding the historical context of these issues, we can better appreciate the significance of our actions and the urgency of our response. Similarly, the ongoing struggle for equality and justice is deeply rooted in our past. The echoes of civil rights movements and battles for social justice reverberate in our present, reminding us of the progress we've made and the work that still needs to be done. The lessons we learn from history can empower us to challenge ingrained prejudices, to question existing systems, and to strive for a more equitable future. And then, there's the domain of technological advancements. The history of technology is a testament to human ingenuity and innovation, a chronicle of our ceaseless quest for improvement. As we stand at the threshold of a new era, marked by artificial intelligence and quantum computing, we can draw on this history to guide our steps, to ensure that our innovations serve the collective good, and to navigate the ethical dilemmas that these advancements invariably bring. As we look to the future, we carry with us the lessons of the past. History, then, is not a static record of bygone days. It's a dynamic compass, pointing us towards a future that is informed by our past, a future that is mindful of our present, and a future that is hopeful for what lies ahead. From the dawn of civilization to the modern era, history is a fascinating journey through time. We started with the birth of civilization, where human society first took root. We then journeyed through the classical era, a time of great empires and philosophical thought, before stepping into the Middle Ages, a period that saw the rise of nations and the spread of religion. The Renaissance and Enlightenment then brought about a new era of intellectual and artistic flourishing, paving the way for the modern era. This era, marked by rapid advancements in technology and society, has shaped the world as we know it today. But history is not just about the past. It's a mirror reflecting our present and a compass guiding our future. It's a story that's constantly being written and by understanding it we can better navigate our own place in it. So, remember to understand where we're going we must first understand where we've been. And don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating journeys into the past.